how many hours per week should you be aiming for in your triathlon training? Well, that is no easy question to answer because there is no right or wrong answer. Firstly, because it does depend on the type or the distance of event that you are targeting, but also because it depends on a number of other crucial factors that need to be considered too. So today, I'm going to be exploring those and going into some more detail to help you determine the weekly training volume that you should be aiming for. First and foremost, we need to decide the type of event that you would like to tailor your training for. Now, it can be very easy here to be influenced by some of your friends, training partners, or work colleagues. Perhaps it's an event that they're doing this year or that they've suggested to you. But it's important to note that we all have our own very personal priorities that can really dictate the type of event that you should be doing, maybe the amount of hours that you have to train for that. That could be your family, it could be a partner, it could be your work, it could be social life, it could maybe even be another hobby. So how do we go about juggling this and choosing the appropriate triathlon for that? Well, this does require some realism and honesty as the amount of time that you have available. If you are someone that's got a busy work life and family commitments, then probably going to advise that you stick to the shorter distance events such as sprints and olympics it's not to say that you can't do those longer distance events but having seen people friends struggle with this before i would say the shorter ones are possibly the more sensible option but if on the other hand you are someone with more time less commitments relatively time rich person then those longer distance events may be more possible and absolutely fine to do if you want to so those half distance iron distance events but regardless of how your daily life looks and there's no denying that everyone's will differ and alter what we do need to get a grasp of is how we maximize that time available in the most efficient manner possible So if you're pushed for time due to these pressures and commitments that we were just talking about, then it's probably best to stick to these shorter distance events, the sprint and Olympic distance triathlons. Or at least to start out with anyway, because they are far more doable and to a good level on under 10 hours of training per week. In fact, there's some pretty good evidence out there in the way of some rather successful age group triathletes who managed to do this on under one hour training per day and really maximizing the use of that limited time that they have. So it's a rough guide and a rough structure. You wanna be looking at doing two short swims around 45 minutes, two bikes around 60 to two hours, and two to three short runs around 30 to 40 minutes. That's gonna give you a weekly total of between six to seven hours. And if you manage to back them up consecutively and consistently that's going to bring you into a sprint or olympic distance triathlon in really good shape Okay, so six to seven hours of training per week is considered satisfactory for a sprint or Olympic distance triathlon. Then one might assume that to train for a middle distance event, a half iron or a 70.3 event, then you'd need to double that. No, not at all. In fact, the training required to do an Olympic distance triathlon is gonna stand you in pretty good stead for a middle distance event too. If anything, you may want to consider bumping up one of your rides and one of your runs. So looking at doing something like two to three hours for one longer ride per week, maybe on the weekend when you've got a little bit more time, and one of your runs up to around an hour or perhaps even more. And that's gonna nudge your weekly totals up to around nine hours. Okay, so now let's double that distance and move on to the full distance Ironman distance event. Now if you are watching this video and planning on doing an Ironman then you are probably looking to me for some magic answers on how to train for it in as few hours as possible. Well here on GTN we have actually done a video already on how to train for an Ironman in under 10 hours per week. So I'll throw to that at the end of this. But in essence you do want to include probably an extra swim or at least a longer swim so that you're capable of covering 3.8 kilometers. You're probably also gonna to want to include a slightly longer run and maybe an additional run again to make sure that you're capable of covering a marathon. But one way of really saving time and across all the distances, whichever distance you are focusing on, is actually to start including some brick sessions. And the idea of this is that you're coupling two different disciplines together. So take bike and run, for instance, you can do a bike session and then run straight off of it. 
And by that, you're gonna save yourself prep time, changing time, showering time, because as we all know, it's not just the training time that adds up, it's all those extra things around that. So, brick sessions are an absolute winner. So there's every chance that you catch the triathlon bug and you're lured into the idea of adding a little bit more training to your weekly plan and maybe even a longer distance event. Now it's important I address this subject because, well, there's probably quite a few of you watching this video now that are thinking just that. Now, you're probably thinking, in theory, adding a little bit more training to my plan, oh, that's easy. But actually in practice, it's not quite that easy. What you end up doing is you're loading the body up more and that puts you at risk of potentially overtraining, illness, and maybe even injury. So here on GTM, what we normally suggest is you get used to your current training plan, you're confident, you're comfortable with that, and you've learned really how to maximize that time that you have available. back to the amount of hours of training that we do per week. So let's say for example, you're aiming to do eight to 10 hours per week. Obviously we're looking for consistency, but that doesn't mean we have to be doing eight to 10 every single week. In fact, I normally suggest you do it in cycles of three to four weeks. So three weeks of eight to 10 hours, and then actually we have a lighter and easier week, maybe somewhere between four to five hours. That's gonna allow your body time to adapt, recover, and progress. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Be a little more clear on how many hours of training you should do for your Ironman. If you've enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more from GTN, you can click on the globe and subscribe. If you'd like to see our 10 hour Ironman training week, see it by clicking just up here. If you'd like to see how to structure a swim workout, see that by clicking just down there.